is the Catholic Daily Journal for Thursday, January the 3rd, 2019. Today is the birthday of Father Damien de Wooster, also known as Damien the Leper and Damien of Malachi. He was a Flemish priest from northern Belgium who was sent to Hawaii to work in the leper colony there. He embraced his work and became a hero of the outcasts. He contracted the disease just a few decades before we found a cure and is remembered for his gentleness and his humility. When he was near death, he heard that a priest was traveling on a supply ship to another island in Hawaii, and he asked to make his final confession before death. The captain of that ship refused to dock the boat or to let the priest off so that Damien could make his confession. And so Father shouted his confession from a small rowboat up to the priest on deck and received his final absolution. He was canonized as a saint by Pope Benedict in 2009, but he was born today in 1840. January the 3rd, 1521, was the day on which Pope Leo X officially excommunicated the German priest Martin Luther. Luther was excommunicated not for teaching error, but for disobedience. The Pope had written him a letter pointing out some theological errors in Luther's writings. And rather than respond to that letter, Luther denounced the Pope in a public rally and burned the document. And the Pope was left with little choice but to assume that Luther had placed his own popularity above the truth and published the document Decet Romanum Pontificem instructing Catholics that Luther was not teaching the Catholic faith and should not be listened to. In the year 2000 today, Charles Schultz published his last original daily comic strip featuring Lucy and Linus, Snoopy and Charlie Brown. The Peanuts cartoon began in October of 1950 and Schultz's work became a fixture of American culture. In 2013, TV Guide ranked the Peanuts television specials, especially the Christmas specials, as the fourth greatest TV cartoons of all time. Charles Schultz died in February of 2000, but his last daily comic strip was published on January the 3rd. And finally, today is the birthday of one of the greatest authors, poets, and linguistic specialists in the long history of the English language. John Ronald Raoul Token in 1892. He was a professor at Oxford in language and linguistics and formed a club with Jack Lewis called the Inklings. They met regularly at a small pub called the Eagle and the Child and talked about the Norse legends and the fairy tales of old. And it was there that Tolkien bemoaned the fact that England didn't have a real mythology of its own. Surely there were Danish Viking tales and the stories of King Arthur, but there was nothing truly English. And so Tolkien started to jot down story ideas for a race of half-sized men and women who lived on the land and not by the power of machines. He took his experience in war, in language, in church, in raising children, in English country living, and in literature, and wrote a story about a hobbit named Bilbo who found a curious ring. When that story sold well, he started his lifelong work on a literary universe with a creation story and all sorts of peoples from the angelic to the demonic from the simple to the truly wise living together in Middle Earth. That work inspired his friend Jack Lewis, known to history by his initials C.S. Lewis, to write a similar universe set in a place called Narnia. Here's a poem for today by J.R.R. Tolkien called All That Is Gold Does Not Glitter. All that is gold does not glitter, not all those who wonder are lost. The old that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are not reached by the frost. From the ashes a fire shall be woken. A light from the shadows shall spring. Renewed shall be blade that was broken. The crownless again shall be king. A poem by C.S. Lewis today on his birthday. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time. Be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.